Hello folks and welcome to today's vlog. We are in Nottingham for Andy's traditional school holiday. Let's go to Nottingham and ride around on the trams and do the other things that he likes to do day. But breaking important news, he's using his new camera. Yeah. Show me your new camera Andy. Let's have a look. Yeah. I'm this side. Andy, I'm this side. There we go. He's using his new camera which is awesome. Slightly less awesome is the fact that it keeps trying to rain and the weather forecast says it's going to be raining for most of the day. He's not a massive fan of the rain. Hopefully we manage to avoid it but we are fully coated up just to be on the safe side. Where have you just been? Why did you walk up that end of the platform? You didn't go up there because that's where the poker stop is? No? Interesting. Is the new camera good? Sorry, are you focusing? Don't talk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is a look of concentration. Using the zoom, this is going to be all arty, as it is like. That's very amazing. <laughs> it's going to be better than mine, and that's going to really annoy me. So, fingers crossed, we've been using the new camera. That means we should have. We should have a vlog from Andy's eyes and he's loving the fact that he's got a zoom on it. He's zooming in on all sorts of things. So this could go one of two ways. It could be a brilliant Andy's eyes vlog when that comes out later today. Or it could just be constant uh, woo woo. I just don't know right like seeing the footage. It'd be like when I first got a zoom. You have to wait for it to stop. <laughs> It's the first of the rain then. I've just come and hidden under here. Where are we going? Are we walking up to the thing now? Hey, oh, we're going to the other platform. Mm -hmm. But I like being under the shelter. So is the zoom on a touch screen then? Is no, it's done. Ah, uh, okay. Where are you going? Watch. Yeah. Are we getting on it? Or? No, I think we're going to watch it at the front. Watch it at the front. I thought he was coming under the shelter, but we seem to still be walking. Oh, I see. No, you're going to be on. Stand back, stand back, stand back. <laughs> you were hurt? I just said he was at all. Didn't even know That's you right, uh, existed. That's right, to get some footage of him using the zoom, but he is using it there. That's really cool. Right, come here, you. Yeah. Like a hot dog. It's actually, too, that's so cool that not only is he using it, he's actually using the features on it as well. That is brilliant. Andy, do not touch. No, no, I said no. Are you getting on? Well, where are we going? So close to getting left on the platform there because the level crossing that he likes to go to is like a couple of stops further down the line. We both completely forgot about it. He was saying get on for Hucknall and we didn't know what he was talking about or why he wanted to go to Hucknall. This one arrived, we thought he was just pressing the button. He got on the tram and then I had to run from where I was filming it all. Uh, so I would have been left behind and I've got the ticket as well. So these two would have been travelling illegally. So where are we going now? The Chris Hill. Okay. The level cross. Let's see. 
Well, after that initial scare, it seems like the, the rain is holding off just long enough for us to make the five minute walk from where we are now. What's this station called, Andy? Butler's Hill up to the level crossing so that you can film going back and forth up there. But luckily, the rain is holding off at the moment. You can see from the sky up there, it wants to rain and Andy's really not a fan of the rain. And to be fair, I'm not much of a fan of the rain when I've got my camera gear with me. I have got the drone with me, but as Anna's just pointed out, I don't think there's gonna be much opportunity to get it up in the air because everywhere we're going has loads of overhead tram lines. And that's probably a bad idea to fly the drone near and probably quite illegal as well. Rain's really starting to come down a little bit now. I think this is my cue to switch from this camera to a combination of my phone and the GoPro. So apologies for the audio and visual footage for the however long I'm on those cameras for. You now. Well, we've made it into the city centre and it seems it's not raining here. So we're back on the proper camera again. How was the footage? How was the footage on the GoPro and the iPhone? Probably not very good. The plan now then, as with every other time we come to Nottingham, is he wants to go up and down in his favourite lift, and then we're going to go and find somewhere to eat. Are we doing Burger King or McDonald's? McDonald's. We're going to McDonald's, are we? So that's a little bit of a break from normal routine. Normally he likes to sit in Burger King and go up and down in the lift, but I think because of the crisp issue at the moment, he's more keen to go somewhere where he prefers the food. I don't know if we've even mentioned the crisp issue to you. There'll be more on the crisp issue later. I feel a little bit redundant filming him doing this now when he's filming it in glorious 1080p. Here we are! Don't need to be here for these bits. Well, I think I might have to stop filming in that shopping centre. That's the last two times I've been there now. Their CCTV has picked me up filming and... I mean, they don't mind me doing it. They come and ask me and I say, I'm just filming, filming Andy, he likes lifts. So I'm just filming him using a lift. And they always accept that as a reason, but... I don't really like being approached by security every time I'm in a shopping centre. Where are we going now, Andy? McDonald's. We're going to McDonald's, are we? The two cars. I see. Andy, how many burgers have you got today? Three. Three burgers? Goodness me. Ah, it's raining again. Now we need to find somewhere for me and Anna to have lunch. Mm, I wonder where we might go. It was tricky. Andy, leave that alone. Just trying to play with this lift while Anna gets her umbrella out. It was tricky in a barbecue restaurant at the weekend sticking to the rules. I think I like 90% stuck to the rules. So we'll aim for 90% again in reds. I'm not gonna have anything with sugar in, I'm not gonna have anything deep fried, but it is pretty much impossible to avoid the sauces. And the sauces are gonna have a little bit of sugar in. So that's a price I'm willing to pay. Have you lost your umbrella now? Anna's now lost her purse and her umbrella today. I'm pretty confident the purse is at home. And just, it's just a ploy to get me to pay for things. But how have you lost your umbrella? And he's pretty impressed with the, uh, with the chair he's ended up with today. Are you comfortable over there? Yeah, I have a tram. Yeah, we'll go on the tram again in a bit. Well, I will. You'll get in the bus. We've just had the usual restaurant discrimination. They come out with sparkling water and a beer, despite me ordering the water, her ordering the beer, and it being the same waiter. <laughs> he gave the beer to me and the water to her. I really hope this is just a one-off, not great plate of food, and that my tastes aren't actually being changed by this stupid diet that we're doing, but I didn't really enjoy that at all. And I've had bad barbecue before and still enjoyed it. I don't think that was bad barbecue, everything tasted right. I just didn't really enjoy it. This is, this is problematic. What on earth will I do? How will I eat out in public from now on if I can't eat barbecue food? It ruins conventions, it ruins everything. The plan now anyway, Anna and Andy have gone to get the bus because Andy likes to get the bus. And as usual, because we've got the tram in, 
and I'm parked out at the park and ride I can't get the bus with them so I'm now walking back to the tram so that I can get the tram back to the car and then drive to meet them at Anna's mum's shortly but she sent me on a wild goose chase to try and find her umbrella in fact it's this way isn't it so I've got to go to McDonald's and a couple of shops that we stopped in just to see if the umbrella is there I suggest the umbrella's probably long gone and it was a fiver anyway but she really likes that umbrella there's just no way Anna should have left me unsupervised in the middle of a city that has a forbidden planet in it we've been down this road before I've bought two pops they're the Saga pops I had all six of them in my hand at one point but managed to force myself to choose the two I wanted most of all I'll show you them when I get back to the car I also got something for her as well just to try and avoid me getting shouted at too much for wasting money that I really shouldn't be wasting but I could have easily just spent £60 on pop vinyls so I think I've shown some restraint and bottom line it's her fault for leaving me on my own I didn't find the umbrella by the way so purchases then uh, firstly I got a Fallout 4 Nuka World hat for Anna she's a massive massive Fallout 4 fan I've never seen her wearing a hat but it's some merch that she doesn't have she might just like hang it on the living room wall or put it in the display cabinet or something I don't know I had to get her something and I think she'll like it if not I'll have it I could do with a new baseball cap I've lost mine and uh, got myself a Saga lying cap pop vinyl I wanted all six of them but could not justify spending 60 pounds on pop vinyls in one go on a random day that would have been mental so I got lion cat and I also got Prince Robot because Prince Robot just looks awesome as a pop I will get the other four probably at comic-con if they're there but at least I have budget set aside for stuff like comic-con I don't have 60 pounds off a budget set aside for random trips to the comic book shop I've got to stop bringing out such cool pops there was so much stuff in there that I hadn't seen before they've even got like royal family ones now Looney Tunes and there was other stuff they've got all the Avengers Infinity War ones out loads of exclusives there's too many cool pops at the moment I need a different thing to collect that doesn't cost so much money I don't think that's likely to happen is it I need your help with something as well before I venture across Nottingham trying to find Anna's mum's house from here so I've never gone from this car park before but these through Andy's eyes videos firstly he's absolutely loving doing them and he's been saying to us for the last couple of days or certainly saying to Anna over the weekend while I wasn't there Nottingham through Andy's eyes Nottingham through Andy's eyes he wanted to come and make the video that he's making today and it's got me thinking about whether I should be putting his videos on a separate channel for him we could even call it through Andy's eyes I think the one he's recorded today will come out on this channel but there's a chance it could be the last one that comes out on this channel I'm going to put a poll up in the corner up there somewhere where do you think we should put Andy's videos on this channel or on a channel for him and there's pluses and minuses to both ideas obviously if they're on this channel initially they're going to have a much bigger audience because he's not starting from scratch people who come here for a video that i've made about him will then be able to go straight into the stuff that that he makes as well which will be pretty cool and obviously it then leads to total views and total subs and stuff on this channel so there's some good synergy there but on the positives for putting them on his own channel we've often talked about putting something in place so that he can have an income when he's older because we don't know if he's ever going to be in a position to get a job we don't want him to have to survive on benefits for the rest of his life we don't want to have to pay for him to live for the rest of his life because i mean we certainly wouldn't be in a position to do that now if i mean if he was 30 now the only way we'd be able to pay for him to to live would be if he lived with us and we've talked before about how it's not it's not a great plan long term to have him living with us forever because eventually there comes a time most likely where we die 20 years before him and then what does he do so we need we need him to be independent he needs to be independent and youtube might be a good route to him having an income and as he gets older he might get more interested in the editing side of things he might actually want to take it over and if he comes to me age 15 or 16 saying he wants to do his own thing 
it would be quite nice for us to have already been building that up with the videos that he's filming and making anyway. Obviously, they're going to get less views initially. They're not going to be monetized because a new channel isn't going to have monetization on it. None of that stuff is necessarily an issue. Because I think long term, if we look at the bigger picture, it might be better to put them on a separate channel. Plus, the positives to not having them on this channel is that it doesn't lead to the channel getting, channel getting cluttered up. We're not going to have two or potentially sometimes even three videos coming out on the same day. We're not going to have people who find those videos, subscribe because that's the stuff they want, and then get really confused when the majority of the videos on the channel are me talking to the camera rather than Andy filming through his. There's a lot lots to think about and for once i think i'm going to try and avoid rushing into a decision every part of me is telling me to set him up another channel right now and get this video that he's making today out on his channel tomorrow and it'll be great but i'm going to try not to rush things this time i have learned from some recent mistakes um i'm talking to you lot i'll take your views on board let me know down in the comments what you think about it but also make sure you vote in that poll as well and it's over the course of the next couple of weeks we'll keep this discussion going and we'll come up with a plan for what we're going to do with andy's videos because I guess a lot of it also depends on the sort of quality of that camera. It might not be much better than the 2DS. I don't actually really know. I know it's 1080p, but the sound might be awful. The zoom might make it unwatchable. It might be really shaky. So, we'll see. Either way, stay tuned for 7pm tonight when the video he's filmed today comes out. Assuming he doesn't delete it all before I get a chance to edit it. It's raining again, Andy. No! I know. It's been raining on and off all day. No! It's most unfortunate. No! Anna's back there talking to her mum, yeah. which is why we've walked off. Are you ready oh, for you your present? I would have bought you one. <laughs> no, I wouldn't have enough There you go. What? No, oh, thank you. What did you say? <laughs> Nuka, Nuka World <laughs> from Fallout. <laughs> thank you. What, you're bloody mad, I am. You're bloody mad, I am. She that? actually liked it. <laughs> I won't wear it. But what? No, I'll put it on the, I'll put it on the wall. Uh, otherwise I'll wear it. No, I'll put it on the wall. You're not wearing it. <laughs> I'm not a cap wearer. I'm in a dress, Kevin. Yeah, cap and dress with trainers. So, yeah, the crisp issue. This is the crisp issue. Andrew. Um, Andy Gosselin. Yeah, they've changed the bags to celebrate 70 years of the nation's favourite. Since that bit there has been on the front of the multi-bags. He's eaten like three bags of crisps and they've all been when he's not been at home and had waffles as an alternative. So because of that, he doesn't like the packs anymore. So he's hardly eating them. Luckily, he has replaced them with potato waffles. It's now Wednesday afternoon. We've just got back from Nottingham. He started eating waffles again on Sunday or Monday night. And he's gone through a 10 pack and an 18 pack, and we've not been in at all today. So, throughout Monday and Tuesday, he ate 28 waffles. Eight today? Oh, he's had eight today, has he? So, even though we've not been, so he had six before we went out, he's had two when he's just been home, I think. So, in like two and a half days, he's had 28 waffles. That's a lot of waffles. I'm now being sent to Tesco to buy some more, I can think. I think. And um, I'm also going to see if there's any crisps that don't have that on the front of them. When I was buying them the other day, I think I was in there with Lucy or Amy, and I said to them as we were picking them up, he's not going to like these because they're different. They've got this thing on the front. I also think it's a slightly different shade of green as well. It does look like a different green. Yeah, Anna, who's not colour blind, is confirming it's a slightly different shade of green. And uh, the two of those things combined chocolate. mean that they're just not right for him. So he's survived this week on chocolate easter chocolate. eggs chocolate rabbits he's saying chocolate over and over again now because he wants some chocolate so i'll have a look in the in tesco <laughs> when i go there to see if there's any chocolate um they'll be like chocolate eggs it's the only form he likes his chocolate in so i'll see if they've got any discounted easter eggs i'll see if they've got any crisps that don't have the 70th anniversary nonsense on and i'll grab him some waffles but um yeah the diet is changing again i guess three buns in mcdonald's was an improvement and uh, all in all, it's been a successful day. We've all had a rather splendid time. Anna has arrived home to find Nino Cooney too waiting for her. So that's her lost for the evening now. I was hoping she'd play Fortnite with me. Oh, no, we can. When you come to bed, we'll play Fortnite. We're going to play Fortnite, are we? So if you want to see me and Anna play Fortnite, um, head to twitch.tv slash LeloujoFM um, and watch the replay of what for you will be last night's stream. And that'll be me and Anna playing Fortnite. Hopefully, if we can get Pab and or Sheepdog involved as well. 
that would be cool. Um, but we are going to leave things there because it's nearly seven o'clock, I think, and I need, still need to go to Tesco. We still need to have some tea, and I need to get myself ready for that aforementioned game of Fortnite. If you have enjoyed today's vlog, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for me. Don't forget to check the channel again later on today for this vlog through Andy's eyes. I need to edit that one together as well. Did I say subscribe? If I didn't, you probably should. Subscribing just makes sense. And thank you very much for watching. Well done! Thank you. I do like getting a round of applause at the end of the vlog. <laughs>